is going on AB family? It's your boy Tyro and I'm back again with another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about how you can bulk on a budget. Now a lot of you ask me why I eat when it comes to bulking and adding size and a lot of you say that you can't bulk because you don't have enough money. Well that is a load of horse doo doo. I live in London, the UK, and we have a number of cheap food places that I'm gonna go and check out. So number one being Aldi, number two Tesco, and number three Lidl. If you don't know about these stores, guys, and you're living in London, you are missing out. Dead cheap food. If you're not from the UK, don't worry. Hunt around your local stores, find any cheap deals that you can, buy in bulk, and if you can, shop late at night as well. They might reduce foods because obviously it's close to expiring so use those tips if you're not from the UK and I'm telling you now guys you'll find some nice deals so for the week I've set myself a budget of 50 pounds so that's all I'll be spending for today's shop I don't want to spend anything more and if I can I want to spend as little as possible so that's 50 pound for the week that's around seven pound a day that's like one pound 20 ish a meal okay so dead cheap guys all right guys that's enough of me talking let's head outside let's get some shopping done and let's prepare these meals all right guys so we're gonna do some shopping now we're gonna head out to Lidl, Audi, Tesco basically all of the cheap stores and try and get ourselves a bargain when it comes to food and shopping okay the first store we hit up was Audi guys now unlike Waitrose and Mark Spencer's where it costs you a kidney to buy a free course meal <laughs> in Audi everything was more or less a pound or less it's absolutely insane I did majority of my shopping here Again, we're going to shop for around 3,500 calories worth of food per day for five days. So again, that's around six-ish meals and around 3,500 calories is a good amount of calories for more or less majority of the population to be in a bulk, to be in a caloric surplus. Now, some of you beasts out there may need more calories. If that's the case, just buy a bit more food. It won't add too much to your overall cost. <laughs> Hey, this is heavy, you know. Came up to around 40 pounds. That's a feel. We got a few vegetables to get. But yeah, overall, I'm happy. Under the 50 pound budget. Let's go, man. So as you can see guys, that's shopping done. This is around 3,500 calories worth of food. I'm gonna show you exactly how to prepare each meal in just a sec. But yeah, this is the full shopping list. I'll leave it also in the description below. So do check it out. There's no excuses guys. If you're in the UK, check out Aldi. I'm telling you now, you're gonna get some mad deals. Absolutely insane, more or less each individual item is under a pound more or less, apart from the meats of course. But let's get straight to it. Let's not waste any time, let's meal prep. All right guys, for the first meal, you're gonna need yourself four eggs, a slice of toast, and half an avocado. We're gonna weigh out actually 100 grams of that, and this will be the first meal of the day. It just had to happen guys, didn't it, whilst filming. So I like my eggs scrambled, so I scrambled them. Again, weighing scale wise, you wanna make sure that you set your scale to zero when you have a plate on it, and then you weigh out whatever food you're measuring. So right now I'm doing 100 grams of avocado. All right guys, so that's the first meal done. You've got yourself four eggs, some avocado and toast. Nice, hearty meal for the day to start off with. Next up, we're cooking our second part of our breakfast. So we got porridge oats going on. We're gonna add a banana, teaspoon of peanut butter and some honey. So again, this is just gonna help you carb up, give you some more energy to have throughout the day. And again, you can eat it whenever really, just as long as you manage to eat it in the day. Second meal of the day done. So obviously you've got 100 grams of porridge oats, a banana, one tablespoon of peanut butter and some honey. Moving on to meal number three. Right guys, so first you're gonna weigh 190 grams worth of chicken breast. You're gonna chop that up. Then you're gonna measure 300 grams of sweet potato. I like to cut them up in circles. You can cut them up however you like. Just place them on a baking tray. Again, add some seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever you feel. And again, chicken wise, this is how I always season my chicken guys, if you haven't seen in my previous videos. Salt, pepper, all purpose, and marjoram. That is the key to flavors guys. I'm telling you now, try it out. Just put it in a pan with a little bit of oil, fry it on evenly on each side for around 10-15 minutes and steam your vegetables. Alright guys, third meal of the day, this will be your pre-workout. So again, high in carbs, high in protein and you've got your micronutrients of course via the vegetables. So now we're just going to slap on some barbecue sauce just to give it a little bit more flavour. 
And that's it guys, meal three, done. Now guys, we're preparing our post-workout meal. So again, we're gonna strain the rice, wash it nicely, then boil it for around 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna season our fish, so salt, pepper, dill I used, a little bit of olive oil, put it in uh, the oven for around 17 to 20 minutes, sprinkle some sweet corn on, and then you're finished. All right guys, post-workout meal, meal number four. We've got ourselves some white rice, cod and some sweet corn. So again, we've got a good source of carbs to replenish our glycogen stores after a heavy workout and we also got a high amount of protein in this meal. Again, if you want to flavor it, add some flavor, you can always use the barbecue sauce or probably get some sweet chili sauce or any other sauce of your choice. Alright guys, so this is a snack during the day. You can have this whenever you want really. Uh, tuna salad, so again, we mix the tuna with light mayonnaise, added a mixed salad, and again, just two slices of seeded bread. So this is your little snack for the day guys. You can pack this, eat it out if you're on the go. But yeah, that's it, done. Last meal of the day, we're gonna weigh ourselves 100 grams of granola, 80 grams, 0% fat-free Greek yogurt, and a dash of honey. So a little treat for us at the end of the day to finish off our bulk. Guys, last meal of the day, we've got ourselves some 0% fat-free Greek yogurt with some granola and a dash of honey on top. So we've got around 100 grams of granola, 80 grams fat-free Greek yogurt, and uh, I think a tablespoon of honey. So this is the last meal of the day, guys. So that was the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. That's how you bulk on a budget. Some serious time and effort was made into this video. So if you did like it, smash that like button, share it with a friend, it always helps out the channel. And as always, it's been your boy Ty from I'm Normal Beings. Comment, like, share, most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll leave everything information wise, the link to the scale in the link below. Also, um, the full shopping list from Aldi. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, share, most importantly, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week with another video. Peace. Ah! I'm getting swole. I'm seeing all these gains, boy. I'm getting big, man. Mmm!